Hey, how's it going, everyone? It's me again. I'm back. I finally got a new mic, and I got everything all set up again, and I'm, I'm doing good. Sorry, it's been a while since I've made a video, mainly because I've been so damn busy. I have two jobs, and, uh, you know, just, just keeping myself busy, you know? And so that's, that's what's going on in my neck of the woods, and, uh... <laughs> I'm not I'm just excited. Today's been somewhat of a, a disappointing day, but I'm, I'm trying to make the best of it. So, you know, that's that's what we're doing. And, um, you know, that's just that's how it's going to be today is uh, me just, you know, taking this one lightly. Um, here I am throwing down a background. I'm not sure what this one's going to be about. It might just be a video of me talking about... Um, What's come? What's soon to come in the channel? Uh, I know that there's not a lot of viewers right now, but we'll work on that. You know, got some feeds out there on Reddit. I have a couple friends that are throwing my name around, which is kind of nice. Support is always welcome. Um, anyways, that's what's going on, and I'm sorry that I've been so distant lately. It's it's been hard, you know, working two jobs and the holidays and how rough it is. But I'm back, and uh, we're we're. We're going to start doing this thing, you know, and hopefully I can get more stuff aligned and keep on working, you know. Um, I'm saving up for a nice tablet, you know, since my tablet's trash and I hate it. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's the plan. That's the goal, anyways, is to, is to do that. And, um, I don't know, hopefully hopefully this all works out and I can get I can get some stuff you know, moved around and everything's good, you know. Um, a little news um, for this week is that uh, there's not much news, you know, I just, <laughs> like I said, working two jobs, trying to, um, trying to get everything to fall in place is kind of the deal, you know, and uh, it's going good, you know, it's, everything's going pretty good, so I'm not going to complain. I mean, obviously, some things could be going better, but they're not, and that's okay. But I'm working with what I got, and that's important, right? <laughs> so that's how it is right now. You know, keep it, keep it going. Um, so what I'm doing today is just kind of a mess around. So you might see Cynic do Cynic's Design Lab or whatever his full name is on his channel. I think it's just Cynic's. No, it's Cynic's Design. So Cynic's Design does this thing that I'm doing right now. It's Cynic's, um, he paints just a weird image, and then he kind of finds something inside the painting, and works with it, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now, is I'm kind of just, I'm painting something, and I'm, I'm, you know, that's, that's what I'm doing. So, anyways, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing, this painting, this, this image, and trying to find stuff within the image, you know, so I'm seeing kind of like a weird turtle guy right here. You know, this, this weirdness. That's okay. Weird turtle guy. Throwing in some nice turtle shapes. And, um... Anyways, yeah. So, that's what's been going on with me. That's what we're doing. And this, this little thing is kind of... Kind of, you know... Using the effects of other artists and seeing if they work for, for me. And, you know... That, that might be a new series for me. I mean, it sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? Like testing out theories that artists use and seeing if it works, you know. Um, this one's kind of cheating because I always use this as a, as a training method for me anyways. Um, but that's that's kind of what we're doing, so it's pretty cool, you know. And uh, I just hope you guys enjoy, really. Honestly, that's just that's the main goal of this channel is to, to, to make you pursue art and try out new things. And... Um, you know, it is, it's pretty cool. You know, let's just, let's just keep working with it, right? So I thought we'd talk about artists today. And very, very good artists that, that influence the, the people around us and us, you know, and me, or the ones that influence me the most. And, you know, just kind of talk about them a little bit and what makes them so appealing and Maybe if you guys want to leave in the comments artists that you enjoy a lot, you know, because there's millions out there, and they're all, a lot of them are all really good. And it's always good to get a fresh opinion on, or even to look up new artists. You know, that's my favorite thing to do is when I, when I hear someone that's talking about an artist that they really enjoy, I, I love to go look it up because it's like, it's really cool. It's like, oh, I'd love to 
learn more about other artists, so. So then I'm like, what's his name again? <laughs> right here, I'm just kind of making a turtle. A tur I like turtles. They're, they're a nice animal. Bob Ross would say they're very peaceful. Peaceful little turtles. <laughs> I love Bob Ross. He's a great guy. Too bad he's he passed away. The wise dude right there. Anyways, yeah, I figured we'd talk about artists that inspired me, and maybe if you guys want to leave some down in the comment, I will definitely read it. Because um, right now, you guys are my most important viewers, is you. <laughs> That's the point of this. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll go over artists. And So, for the big ones for me, anyways, let's just get this going, is uh, obviously Cynix. You guys know that. I talk about him quite a bit, and I follow a lot of his traits and you know, how he draws and stuff, and I just, I've always been drawn to it. I like how he teases flesh tones and, and does a very good job at, you know, creating images that make me feel, and to me, that's important in artwork, is, is emotional artwork, and I feel that it, it's a good way to show your personality, and I feel like it's just, it's a, it's a good thing to use, and He's very in inspiring to me, um, and it's nice because I messaged him once, and he actually messaged me back, and it really, I don't want to say tickled me, but it made me feel good, you know? Sure, he didn't say much, he was just kind of like, oh, that's cool, man. <laughs> but, you know, I it, it still was cool to cool to get a, you know, get talked to um, by one of my all-time favorites, you know, artists that I've been following since I first started, you know? I mean, not since I first started, but... He's the whole reason I started studying artists in general. And so, he's just kind of the whole reason I, I study artists and, and you know, you know, he's just a big influence in my life and how he paints and how he, how he does everything. It really affected me as an artist. Um, he did. He had a very heavy impact on my art style and, and how I view stuff. And... You know that's one of my that's one of my go-to artists. If I'm feeling feeling uninspired, I I wait for him to publish a video and then I just watch it a couple times and then I'm back into it. You know, luckily he's been posting a lot of videos lately, so I'm, I've been doing a lot of artwork lately because I've just been been so inspired by him and it's great. You know, hey Ollie, how's it going? Ollie's my dog. She just broke into my room and walked up to me. But anyways, God, I gotta stop hitting that button, it's so annoying. Um, anyways, he's one of the artists that just had a huge effect on me growing up. And then another one is Mr. Werewolf, uh, Jacob, or is it Jacob Rosolsky? Yeah, Jacob Rosolsky. But on Tumblr and stuff like that, he goes by Mr. Underscore Werewolf. And I gotta say, that guy really influenced my, my artwork and... I don't do that style of artwork a lot, but I enjoy that. I and I enjoy his work more than anything. And um, I just, God, I really like his artwork and his style and the way he works. And you know, he's he's not really a digital painter per se. I mean, he started getting into it for his new video game that he's making with this developer, and it's really cool to to watch all the stuff that's being done. You know, I follow him on Instagram and his. His work is it's inspiring, you know, it's just cool, it's creative, it thinks outside of the box. It's World War II Poland, and it just, it kind of looks great. And uh, and I just, I, I love it so much. <laughs> and another good artist that I encourage you guys to go look at is Louis Van Bar Barley? I think that's how you say it. It's B-A-A-R-L-E. And she's a great artist. Um, she has a she has an anime realistic style to me. That's how I feel what it looks like. And it's just it's a nice change, you know, because I'm not really an anime fan. I mean, I watch it, but I've never been into the anime style. It's just never caught my attention. And she's got this really nice style that just kind of complements both sides, you know. It's it's realistic, but it's not. You know, it's got that anime feel, and it just it looks decent to me. And I really enjoy, you know, looking at her artwork, and and it's just it's something it's something great, you know. I just I really enjoy her artwork. Uh, 
as as a as a, as an artist. I also really enjoy um, Sergey Bros. I think that's how you say it. Um, he's he's got a very cell shaded approach of painting and just it's very cool. I mean, he's one of my favorite. He's, he kind of draws furries, like. They're not furries, but I, I don't know what you'd call them. Anyways, he draws some interesting things, but they're cool, and I really like his approach towards art. And then probably my all-time favorite because it's just it's infected my it, it, it's infected my style. Yeah, I say infected because it's it's what I'm all about is Victor Antovi Antovi Antovit. He did the Dishonored and um, Half Life Two games. He was the art, the concept artist for those, and I gotta say, it just impacted my life. You know, just like just like uh, Cynics did, it just it hit me where it counted, and I absolutely loved his work, and I love that that oil paint look and feel of a painting, and I just I really enjoyed watching his, you know, his stuff, and he really got me into artwork and just everything in that sense. You know, it just it wowed me to watch him paint. You know, it was great to watch him paint. And I just, I fell in love, you know, ever since I first saw his, you know, ever since I played Dishonored, which is one of my favorite games of all time. You know, I just, when I see it, I get so excited. And just how much he's influenced my life like Cynic has, it's great. It, it really, you know, it really inspired me to start doing what I want to do and pursuing this goal. Mainly, mainly Cynix, when he, you know, uh, when he started doing his videos more and got more into them, it really affected me in how I paint and how I draw and, you know, how I look at the world and perspective and, you know, I still borrow stuff for myself because I want to, I want to be a self-taught artist. You know, I, I like, I think it's cool if you go to the, the schools and stuff, but everyone I've ever talked to that's in the field says that they never went. And that, you know, it's, they, uh, they found ways to get around it, I guess. And I just, I don't know. I want to, I've never had to really rely on anyone growing up. And I don't want to rely on something that I don't think would benefit me as an artist. You know, I would rather bet on myself than on, than on, you know, someone, someone infecting or affecting my, um, my style and how I look at the stuff, and because every time I've ever been in an art class, they've always tried to change the way I look at stuff and how I draw. And I'm saying that it just wasn't for me. You know, art classes when I was growing up, just they never affected me right, and I never thought that they were really teaching me anything I wanted to know. You know, stuff that I always kind of knew more about, and then I just got criticized for knowing it. You know, like ah. Uh, you know, you know, growing up artists, growing up in my little era, like, it wasn't long, but, like, artists were kind of looked down upon when I was growing up in elementary school. It was just kind of a thing that, like, oh, you'll never get anywhere if, if you, if you don't, you know, if you, you're not going to get anywhere if you become an artist. And that bothered me, because I always wanted to show them wrong. And all my friends say that I have a chance, and I, I don't know, hopefully I do, but... In the end, it's, you know, I I don't want to be forced in learning a certain way to draw. I like, I like breaking the laws and messing around with how I draw and how I paint and learning from those that are, that inspired me to do it in the first place. Instead of learning from those that just never truly cared enough about art, I guess. I don't know if that sounds weird. I mean, I feel like I'm just ranting, and that's, I guess that's fine, you know, there's nothing with getting it off your chest, but what I'm trying to say is that I prefer not to do the art school way. I mean, sure, in high, in college, or not college, in high school, I did a college class for three years, and uh, my teachers loved me, and they're like, you have a huge opportunity, and you need to, you need to go for it, and I was like, well, I kind of want to be a teacher. And they were like, well, you know, you, you could be an artist. And I was like, I, I don't know. So I'm still trying to figure out my, my place and where I want to go in life. And, um, you know, that's just kind of how I feel about it. Um, 
I don't know what I'm going to do in life yet, but that's okay. At least I can learn some cool stuff along the way. You know, like, you know, learning from Cynics has very improved my artwork. You know, watching him be amazing and just just attacking, attacking the canvas and doing work. You know, work that inspired me, and I just love to watch and paint. And, you know, it just, I don't know, it just was enjoyable to me to finally have someone that I enjoyed to watch paint. So for a while, it was just kind of like, I didn't like any of the artists that were on YouTube. Like, they were good, but they were just too stiff. They had no, they had no sense of, I don't want to say, they had art skills. Like, they were very skilled painters, you know, there was nothing wrong them at all it's just me personally i'm a yeah i was a, i was a handful um i just never felt attached to their artwork i never felt like it was it was my thing you know i never really liked any of it they were great artists and nothing wrong with them it's just i never fell in love with their work and i never used it to inspire myself unless unless i'm talking about um you know, unless I'm talking about Brother Bastone, like, he very affected my work. You know, when I first saw him, I was just insane about that cell shade look, and I just loved everything he produced, and, I mean, I still watch him to this day. He's a great artist, and he just, he, the way he goes about doing things and how he's opened up over the years is amazing, and uh, I just, I can't get over watching him paint. Or not paint, but, you know, do his do his thing. And I just, I don't know. I've always liked those artists that just attack the canvas and they don't, they don't really think about things that, that matter. You know, they break the rules because they know the rules and, and it's okay for them to mess around. I just hope one day I can be that good to where I can do that. So I encourage you guys to find artists that you really enjoy and study their work. You know, just study how they how they paint and how they learn and and try to learn from them and maybe they're you know and and how they and how they you know paint. That's that's all I gotta say. Is that learning from artists is how you get better, in my opinion. You know, it's I, yeah, it's just try it. You know, for some reason this paint brush is just not working as good as it usually does. I don't know if it's because of the colors I got laid down. I'm still new to this whole um, Corel painter thing. Maybe it's this brush. Let's change brushes. Let's do the dry brush brush. That's a little bit better. But, yeah, I mean... I don't know. Just look at look at artists. That's how that's how I improve. Like once I started studying artists, man, my artwork shot up way better than it than it ever had been. You know, as soon as I started studying artists and and really looking at them, that's that's when I that's when I really started to improve and and I also figured out what works for me. I really don't like reference painting. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, at all, it's just peripheral. I don't care to do it. Um, I have done it in the past, and I I'm decent, but I prefer to do it different ways. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. So I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up. Um, I have some friends coming over, and uh, I think this is gonna be it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. This doesn't look as great as I want it to, to but it's decent. I plan on doing this tomorrow morning. Um, you know, I plan on I plan on um, going over more. You know, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna be here for the long haul now that my work has slowed down, and that I'll I'll definitely have the time to to be around and uh, do do more artwork. I'll show you guys a little bit more of how I think, and maybe it'll help you out and. I think I'm going to start that new series of using artists' um, tips and tricks and trying them out and seeing how they work for me. And uh, maybe letting you guys kind of watch a crash course of it and how it affects affects you know the, the thinking strategies and all that jazz. I'm not very smart. I'm sorry. <laughs> to my head, in my head, I was trying to make that sound good, but it just it wasn't. So. 
freaking out. I will try my best to work on my communication skills, especially if I want to be a teacher. I gotta, I gotta learn how to teach better. So, this this whole YouTube thing has been a very big learning process for me, and I am enjoying every second of it when I get a chance to do it, at least. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today. Um, I certainly did enjoy doing this, so I hope you guys did as well. I know that this one doesn't look as good as usual. Well, one of my usuals don't even look that good. <laughs> one day, guys. One day I'll be good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, try looking up some of those artists I mentioned. If you don't want to, don't. It's cool. I don't care. <laughs> um, all I'm saying is it's good to it's good to learn about the, the environments around you and the people and how how they paint and how it could maybe affect your work and if it's for the best or for the worst. Um, just never be afraid to try new things. Life is full of surprises and you never know what you're gonna get. So I encourage you to to try and 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 and, and tempt it, you know. Yeah. So here we are, and uh, I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. So, if whenever I decide to wrap this up, <laughs> I'm sorry, I got back, I got interested in it again. So <laughs> it happens. I, when I once I once I get to a point in my artwork, I'm like, this looks good again. I get very interested in it. <laughs> um, by the way, I try and do artwork in a very different way. Um, I, if you, I've already talked about Cynics a lot, but I follow a lot of his examples by just attacking the canvas and praying that something good comes out of it. <laughs> like obviously, if this was for a client or something, I would definitely be putting more time and effort into it. But since I have since I'm on such a busy schedule right now, this is all that I can do. But it doesn't look bad, right? It's, it's getting there. You know, and... Yeah, it's starting to look good. It's starting to look good. I'm adding in those dark lines to show... To show, um... Show more depth, you know, in this monster. I think this is my, yeah, it's a pretty cool looking monster. Um... He's naked, but he's cool. Um, maybe next time I'll go over skin tones. I feel like that's something I need to do and practice a little bit more. I like how this guy's skin tones look because they're very monotone to the background. And it kind of complements the background a little bit. And I really enjoy how it looks. Um, at least how it's starting to look. And I'm definitely going to have to rework this brush a little bit because it's just being a pain today. So, yeah, but I hope you guys are enjoying this series of me doing random stuff. I know I need to get better at doing these videos, but once I have more time to sit down and plan and think about how I should do these videos, they'll, I promise you they'll get better. Um, because I'm already starting to see a growth in my work. I'm starting to see... It's starting to be better, and it's starting to look better. <laughs> At least that's what I think, and um, I hope you guys agree. And uh, you know, I just I hope that this is helping you as as much as it's helping me. And uh, yeah, I know that I don't have a lot of viewers. I think one of my videos got like 25 on it, and that's it, which is totally fine. But. Um, I know I said I was supposed to wrap this up. Let's see how many minutes I got knocked on to this video. 24, so we're doing good. I usually stop at 25, so this is about a normal normal video. Usually because they crash after a certain amount of time. Which is weird. Computer shouldn't be crashing, but it does because that's it's how my life is. <laughs> so, I think this might do it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed, 
um, learning what we went over and try checking out those artists. And if you did watch this video and enjoyed it, let me know about some of the artists that really inspired you. And maybe I'll check them out. And if I like them a lot, we'll definitely do a case over that artist, you know, cover. Um, and I'll try hit the, his techniques. And, you know, um, if you can keep it not modern, like maybe, maybe like medieval artists or not even medieval artists, but artists that maybe no one has really heard of would be awesome. So we can show credit to those that no one's ever really seen before. Um, that'd be great. You know, I always love finding new artists. So if you guys can find new artists, that'd be, that's a good challenge. You know, look around and find some, some cool dudes that, you know, aren't really popular, but have a lot of talent. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed this painting and I'm going to stop here. Um, I kind of, we're definitely coming back to this one. I, I can say that for sure, because I really enjoy this one and how it looks, and I'd like to do it, you know, do, cover it with, with you guys. And uh, anyways, I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.